1770 in Angus Waters for a couple of days and check that out. I've only heard good things about that area. Uh, and then from there we will make our way sort of back down the coast and head down to Double Island Point, Tiwar and Camp Tiwar around there and check out Rainbow Beach and all that area there which should be fun. Um, and then what after that? Uh, well we have about two weeks in total. Well, we do have two weeks in total so the only thing we've got booked is Tiwa. Yeah. So at any point, um, you know, we can go home. We're only from the Gold Coast, or we can go home, or we can go where we want. If we see somewhere along the way that we like, we can stop there for a night, really. Um, our plans have already changed a couple times since the last co in the last couple of weeks for a few reasons. But yeah. about 7 a.m. it's probably about five degrees it's, cold. it's freezing cold. it's cold we've been up since about 5 30 um we got in pretty late well, it wasn't okay we got in at six o'clock last night it was dark luckily so we couldn't show you the setup or anything no nah, but luckily Michelle's parents were here, had hot dinner for us. We had dinner ready. We ate dinner in a warm caravan. It was so good. <laughs> and we went to our freezing cold tent. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I think morning. it's quite a good spot. Here, yeah. Really, for a free camp. Free camp. Um, Bit of road toilets. noise. Yeah, but there wasn't too much through the night. There, I didn't really hear any through the night. No. Um, we're on a little bit of a river just behind us there. 
Um, and we're thinking we've only got like an hour and a half travel today. So, yeah. We're gonna have some brekkie, gonna have some warm oats, and then uh, pack up camp and we'll head to the next stop. And I start to clap Cause I'm feeling good My room is empty All in the It's a guitar and a snare drum Bang on it It's just life So we're just on our way to a little town called Monto it was from where we stayed last night it's i think it was about 80 k's um north and yeah so our last night um was our first real camp free camp um which it was good it was um it had toilets and um there was, there was a fair bit of space there um yeah anyway so we had a really good night other than the fact it was cold but i mean Ceratosis. Saratotus. Saratotus. Um, but it is the middle of winter, so freezing. freezing. That's what you expect. Um, yeah, so we're just on our way now to Monto, um, and then from there we'll head into Kenya Gorge. Um, it's now a nice 18 degrees, which is and such a beautiful, clear, sunny day. Um, we've seen emus already on our drive. Um, lots of cattle and we are four caravan caravans deep <laughs> four caravans in front of us um, which they're is good anywhere. to see I, they're all out I guess everyone's doing that now you know with corona and stuff which is actually it's really good to see so yeah and we will get better footage for you guys of the pack up and the pack out yes because it was dark we just did a quick setup. It was basically just the tent. We didn't have anything out because mum and dad kind of did dinners and whatever. So we'll show you that when we get to Kenya. Yeah. And I start to clap Cause I'm feeling good My room is empty All it has Is a guitar and a snare drum So we've arrived at Kenya Gorge Maybe like an hour ago um, We've set up And we have had, to, had some lunch And Oh my god, it's so peaceful here, it's so quiet, there's just birds, and um, we are now just heading off for just a quick trip down to have a look at the dam, there's some walk we can do, um, so yeah, we'll show you around.
on our way into the Kenya Gorge retreat where we're staying, we saw this little turn off for an organic market and we went past it because we weren't really prepared for it. We wanted to get to camp, but we're here now and check it out how cute it is. It's a little drive through organic market. We just went and did a quick little drive up to have a look at the Kenya Lake Dam um, and then um, on our way back did a quick little walk, um, just one of the 600 meter walks and then on the way back we actually stopped in at the Big Four, um, Kenya Gorge Big Four. They have all the information there on um, how to get out to beautiful Betsy which we're going to do tomorrow which is the plane crash. Um, that a plane that crashed there and it never got found for 50 years um, and now it's like a day trip you can do out there um, have a look around all the little parts and that type of thing so now we're back at camp um, it's about four o'clock getting cool so we're lighting the fire and this is where you'll find us for the night While Blake's sorting out the fire, men's business, I'll just give you a quick um, look at our camp. We So we came in this morning and we got, I think we got here about 11 o'clock and um, the lady at the checkout basically just said we, we took an unpo unpowered site so she basically just told us anywhere around this area you can stay. Um, so we with mum and dad came along and we just found a perfect little camp spot right on the corner or right on the edge. We've only got kind of no one on one side of us and only one person kind of a bit further down on the other side which is really nice. Um, backed behind bush, it's really quiet, very peaceful. Um, anyway, so this is our campsite. Mum and Dad have gone to watch bird feeding, 4 p.m. bird feeding. Um, but yeah, we're too lazy, so we're just gonna stay here and eat some food and chill by the fire. For dinner tonight, we are having spaghetti bolognese. Blake is currently cooking it up on the gas cooker and the pasta is cooking on the fire.